G'day guys, welcome to our Abalone Catch and Cook episode. Myself and the Blissneaks family head to our local for the Abalone season opener. We'll show you how to catch them, shuck them and prepare them and Risey finishes up with a few cooking tips. Enjoy. Good morning, welcome back to the channel. It is abalone season and we are here at 6.30 a.m. <laughs> um, as you can see, I've got Risey with me, Pisy, Sinead and Glenn, Blissneaks family. Uh, we're gonna do a catch and cook with abalone today. Um, the one we're after is ab row abalone. Um, that's the smallest out of the three, the other being green lip and brown lip, uh, which we get them a lot down south. Uh, and we're going to do a bit of a catch and cook, so we'll show you how to shuck them and prepare them and uh, cook up on the barbecue pretty soon. But for now, we've got to catch them first, and that's where we are. I sound absolutely horrible because I've got a little bit of man flu going on, but I'm not stopping coming down here to get a feed of abs. Nothing stops that. Okay, so the tools that we need for abalone. This isn't exactly the proper abalone popper, but this will do. Um, 60 mil is the size that we need, so I've just measured it out and taped off right there. That's where I know 60 mil, so as long as that's bigger than that, I'm all sweet. Okay, we've about exhausted the, the big ones on top, so we're gonna jump in and hopefully get some bigger ones under the waterline. <laughs> Hanging on good out, isn't it? Relocate this guy. <laughs> 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 Four, seven, eight. We are a couple short, so that works out. Well, sweet. That works out, sweet. Who says it's too bloody early for a swanny? That's working. <laughs> <laughs> Just like that, bagged out. 15 each, the, the limit is 15. So we all bagged out and we're all gonna come home and start shucking them and have a feast. Maybe even throw some on Flavia while she's in bed. <laughs> Explain what you got to do there, Rise. Rightio. So with your ab, you always want to look for the, the pointy end of the shell. Not the round one. That one in a sense. Flathead. Straight under that pointy bit. As you can see under there. Bit of a pop. That then makes him nice and loose in the shell. Quick turnover. Peel. Voila. And now hand it on to my uh, sous chef. All he's going to do is just chop off the head and then we're left with a nice bit of flesh. Pretty bloody simple. Nothing but the shell goes to waste. The guts and the intestine that are left over, I chuck in a bag, stick it in the freezer and it is dying right burly for future fishing trips. Couple of runaway abs. Okay, so the next process we've got to do is tenderizing them. Makes them absolutely beautiful, especially when they've been cooked on the barbecue. Now 
Alrighty, Rosie's Kitchen underway. What do we got there? Bit of garlic, bit of butter, bit of flour. Yep. Put it on two ways. The way we like it. Uh, <laughs> bit of butter, bit of garlic for, for half, and the other one we just lightly battered with a bit of uh, flour. Gives it a nice little bit of texture. Nice. Got lemon pepper there as well. Yep. Bit of seasoning. Once again, some people honey glaze them, some people deep fry them, some people slice them, have them raw, but keep it simple. Bit of butter and garlic. Thanks, boss. Your weapon. So how long are you leaving on the barbecue for there, Rose? Oh, not long, mate. Work on any between around a minute and a half, if you can't go wrong. But easiest way to get a butter knife. You should be able to pierce them pretty easy, give them a quick hit. And there you go. Don't need much, same as fish. I don't need much at all. Under is always better. Correct. Bit of our fresh lemon is always good too, gang. Fresh lemon. So they just flip them once, right? Yeah. Yep. Just the once. Well, the golden brown on one side. Quick little flip. As I said before, get yourself a butter knife or any knife. It should go through like butter, really. It's nice and soft. But it's just important to give them that really good tenderise that bash beforehand. Or you'll be eating um, car tyres. Car tyres. Last few. It looks super weird. Oh, put bloody hairs on your chest, I tell ya. They look like a horror story, they really do, but they taste absolutely delicious. Absolutely. 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 <laughs> He's a peanut, this guy. Alrighty. Give him a go. Bit nervous, eh, babe? Yeah. She's never tried them before, so. Pretty bloody good, eh? If you haven't tried them before, there's nothing else like them. It's just a completely different taste altogether. And these are the Roe Abalone. Apparently the better ones are Greenlit and Brownlit. And they're much bigger as well, so... Hmm. Definitely give them a go if you haven't. Definitely worth it. Got five special cheese breads. <laughs> they're a little bit of a floppy ones, but they actually taste pretty good. Yeah. Alrighty, guys. <laughs> Alrighty guys, we'll make that the end of the video. If you haven't tried Abalone, definitely give it a go. It is absolutely delicious. Um, I'm going to have a couple more of these. And this is goodbye from the, the Blisteeks family. And like, subscribe if you haven't already done that. And we'll see you again pretty soon. Right, Cheers.